What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you some more Pillars of Eternity lore, and this time we are talking about Magrin. Now there are going to be some spoilers for the games here and there, so just kind of keep that in mind as we go through this. That said, Magrin is the goddess of fire, war, and trials. Now fire and trials are pretty straightforward, but when it comes to the war aspect of Magrin, she is not a goddess of bloodlust or celebration of victory. When she is the goddess of war, it's more about military excellence and passionate discipline. And as a result of that, most of Magrin's clergy, if you want to call it that, is made up of people like officers, soldiers, engineers even, or just people trying to test themselves. Now, for the most part, that's taken pretty well as is. And then we have the followers of Durrance from the first game. So in the first game, we meet Durrance, who is a priest of Magrin, who actually becomes a member of your party in that game. And through him, as well as various other sources, we can learn that some people take Magrin's teachings to an extreme, to the point where they will actively seek out people to test and judge based on their ability to fight them, basically, or in other matters, often resulting in said person's death, which is just a slightly more extreme version of what would be considered normal faith for Magrin. Now, Magrin herself doesn't have too much of a presence in the games. In the first game, when you pray to Galloway's shrine, Magrin will be among the gods in that group, and as such will ask you to use the souls of the Hollowborn from the first game to strengthen the living people of the Deerwood. In the second game, she's a bit odd, because when you reach the Ashen Maw as you're chasing down Aethys, and the events play out at that particular place, Magrin and Andra will then try to attack Aethys, Magrin by erupting the volcanoes, Andra by sending tsunamis and stuff. But then afterwards, Magrin will be one of the gods that asks you to just not try to stop Aethys anymore, in a bit of a reversal after realizing that they couldn't do anything, I suppose. But the most important thing when it comes to Magrin actually happens before the events of the first game, roughly 15 years. So as we talked about in our video about Aethys, he at one point entered the body of a man named Widewin, who then became known as Saint Widewin. And through Widewin, Aethys tried to illuminate the history of the Ingwithans to the rest of the world. Now, the other gods did not like this, and Wodica goaded Magrin into doing something about it. And as such, Magrin is credited with engineering the creation of the God Hammer Bomb. Magrin brought together 12 of her priests, one of which being Durrance, actually, to create a bomb. Now, this bomb was simultaneously a physical bomb as well as a metaphysical one because Magrin put her own power into it. The priests of hers put their actual power as well as their magical power into it. And then they were able to find a fragment of Widewind's soul and that became the detonator. So basically, whenever Widewind walked near it, it would explode. And thus, the Godhammer bomb was hidden under Halgot Citadel, specifically under a bridge, and Widewind was goaded into crossing said bridge. And as he crossed it, because of his presence with the detonator, the bomb went off. It's not exactly known what happened to Widewind because his body was never recovered, so it's unclear if it was just completely eradicated. However, we of course know that Aethys lived through the events of the games. But nonetheless, he was wounded. So Magrin is effectively the reason that Aethys was destroyed at the end of the Saints' War. Now, the last thing I want to mention here is that it's worth mentioning that after this happened, Magrin found a way to kill 11 of the 12 priests that she used to make this bomb, seemingly because those people were now aware of a way to harm a god. However, she was unable to kill Durrance, because Durrance suffered severe damage to his soul in the explosion of the God Hammer bomb, and this resulting damage rendered Magrin unable to locate him, or at least his soul anyway. And as such, she never struck him down. But there you go, guys. There is the information about Magrin, the goddess of fire, war, and trials. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.